This is me, the Under Viking. This is, well, it's Badass Force. I apologize uh, to anybody who might be offended by the name or, or whatever, but this, this game is over the top and it knows exactly what it is. And it actually, you know, honestly, um, you know, it, it isn't a joke, I guess. Like, I remember when they contacted me about the game, I was like, uh, okay. Badass force, you know what? What the heck, right? But I, but I read the rules, and this is kind of like if Bang and Ku uh, had an illegitimate baby, if if that makes sense. And um, and and they kind of combine uh, like the good stuff from both of those games, and, and make it made an amalgamation that that's a lot of fun to play. Uh, so obviously, uh, you you see there are like the the. The heroes from your favorite action movies in caricature form there an homage or in a parody or whatever um this is a game that you will uh it plays real rather quickly it's it satisfies a large number of people you can play with up to seven um you know and i i mean honestly the only thing preventing it from being played with more is just you just need more cards you need more you know and so there's i don't think like if you had more than one copy you definitely could have more people at the table um so and also i want to say i apologize for my voice uh, i am freshly back uh from bgg con uh, i don't have the con crud or anything like that uh but i did uh bellow my lungs out uh during rock band night if you were there uh, rock and night at the rock band. So yeah, thanks for showing up and singing with us. But anyway, uh, just bear with my voice and then I'll show you how to play uh, the Badass Force and then we'll come back here and I'll tell you why it's fun and why um, if you are a fan of like like kind of a deduction game but also like um, the, the, the you know, frenetic blasting each other uh, uh, type of situation you have with the game like Bang, um, you might want to add this to your collection. All right, cool. Let's do it. All right, you ready to play some badass force? Okay, <laughs> ah, I just love that name. Anyway, okay, so what you're looking in front of you here is you have your weapons deck, uh, which is a very important deck of cards uh, that has all the different weapons, and I'll show you some of those here in just a little bit. Um, basically, the weapon is is just important uh, as uh, the person that you're the the badass you are going to be using uh, at any given time. Uh, this knife here. It may be a little tough to see. Um, this is a prototype I was seeing, but this is just the score chart. Uh, you can see it goes up to a total uh, score of 17. Um, technically, you only play to 16, but you can get a higher score, and you just end up with whatever. And, you know, you know if you don't want to play to 16, you can play to 10. You can play to whatever you want. Uh, but the game does go by quick, so I can't really see uh, playing for a, a lesser score. Uh, each person will get, you know, very, very good. I love games that have a really, really good uh, handy... Um, player aid. I mean, this is, this is, I mean, you could teach the game in like two minutes and then this person's, anybody's going to have this card and they're going to know exactly what they can do uh, on their turn. So uh, kudos to that as far as that goes. Um, you're also going to get uh, this card and you can't really pick this card up and move it because you're going to be placing a card underneath that. I'll explain that in just a little bit, but it does tell you how you get points. So, um, if you uh, if you kill uh, a bad somebody else's badass, you get two uh, badass points or victory points, whatever. Every one more you kill is an extra point. Um, and if the badass you kill is currently at the top score, you get a bonus. Now it says here, like this little symbol here, this means you're in revenge mode. Okay, so the thing is, is that you are going to get your your team of badasses, and I'll talk about those again in just a little bit. But most likely they're all going to get killed. Uh, <laughs> this is a game, um, if you've played games like Bang or things like that, um, it is a game that everybody's going to be blasting away at each other throughout the game. So, if you get them all killed, it's not that big of a deal. You can still win the game. Um, and as a matter of fact, um, when you all of them get killed, you get them back into your hand, and then you go into revenge mode, which means that you actually get some bonuses and you unlock some extra abilities. Um, if Don't worry, if you're not in revenge mode, actually, you can see here, uh, if at least one other player is in revenge mode and you are still in normal mode, you just gain a victory point. You just gain it because, you know, you haven't been killed off yet. So it is kind of like revenge mode is a way for other people to catch up, but it also rewards the person that has played well enough uh, to get to that point. All right. So you put that there. You 
place one of each of the characters out that you're going to be playing. The reason you do that is because you're placing secret characters down, and it's it. You know, players need to be able to look at those and remind themselves of which players that are in play and just, you know, so they can have a good idea of what character you're using and whether or not you're bluffing or what you're, what you're doing. All right, so each person gets the same seven people. Now, I, I was given uh, more people, like, I you know, so there are more, like, here's Dolph and Michelle and Sigourney. I'm not using that in, these, in this particular game round. Uh, the ones I'm using uh, would be Chuck... Uh, Bruce, Jean-Claude, Linda, Steven, Sylvester, Bruce, and Arnold. All right, so uh, those, um, what you do is you're going to take these and you're going to shuffle them up, you know, and, and so you don't know, and you're going to take one of these and you're going to place it face down underneath this card. Now, you can still look at it because obviously you're going to be looking at the rest of your cards. So you can see I'm going to be putting Linda underneath, the, and she's in my reserve. Now, I can't get Linda back unless I am knocked out. The reason you put one in reserve is because players can possibly deduce that you, you're missing one of those, and they can kind of um, play you know, at that sort of like a bluffing situation, and you're trying to keep that secret. That Don't tell anybody who you have underneath that because that reduces the number of options that they have. All right, so then each person will be dealt a weapon. Now I'm just going to grab like here, just so you can kind of see what the weapons are. All right, so weapons will have certain abilities. So here's a shotgun. There's no like real damage level on them. Um, basically, any weapon can kill any of the other badasses with just one shot. Uh, and sometimes they have special powers that allow them to do other things. So like this one is short range. You can only use on neighbors. When they mean by neighbors is the person's putting, you know, sitting to this side of you and that side of you. That's your neighbors. And then it says blast. You can target one more badass. So if you target my, if I target my opponent over to my right, and you know I can say you know I, I could you know take out her badass and I could take out another badass if that makes sense. So you can you you can you get more than one because you know it's a shotgun. It's got a spread or whatever. Uh, then it has um, ammo. So when you have a weapon in front of you, you'll place this little. Uh, this little icon down like that, and then you will gain ammo. As soon as you are at five with your ammo, you can then use it to, to kill some, kill another person's badass on your turn. You'll notice, however, like the blast ability doesn't unlock until you get to that level of ammo. And so that's kind of a, a pretty standard thing when it comes to these weapons. Uh, here's the combat knife. It says it has comes loaded. So you actually start... Uh, with with a bullet you start there and so it only takes a little bit together but it's also only short range can only use in neighbors and i'll just look at show you the last one and there's lots of different weapons i'll show you some more here in just a second but here we have a bazooka you can see it takes a lot of ammo uh, to get up there but once you do you can kill an opponent's badass and their two neighbors so you can just you know blast away and kill a bunch of people. So if you see somebody loading up bazooka, you want to figure out a way to get them to stop loading up that bazooka. But I'll, once again, show you that stuff in a little bit. So each one of these, um, you know, people, obviously these are, uh, uh, you know, parodies, if you will, uh, of famous uh, mo action movie stars. So, bullets are your resources. So, Jean-Claude here, you spend two bullets to guess an opponent's badass identity. If right, that badass is killed. And so, if it's revenge, as long as you're right, you can repeat this power without paying. So, you can see how that would be really, really powerful. I'm not going to go through all of these, but here's like here. Uh, Bruce, if you have three more bullets than your opponent, spend two bullets and kill their badass. And then you can repeat that power, as it says right there. Uh, here, <laughs> this is funny. So, Chuck, uh, opponent... Uh, opponents reveal their badass. If there is no Chuck, identical badasses are killed. So if you think, you say, okay, I'm going to use Chuck's power, and like everybody turn their badass over and show them who it is. And if everybody's got the same thing, you both got it. So like revenge? What? No, come on. This is Chuck. You know, he doesn't get a revenge thing because he's, you know, the badass or whatever. But like here's like um, Sylvester Stallone, obviously. Uh, his power is gain two bullets, but his revenge is he gains an extra two bullets. So he gains a tons of bullets. But regardless... Each player, and like I said, this game plays up to seven people, so I can have a big crowd. You're going to go through, and you're going to um, you're going to see there. And I have always, you know, I kind of like Arnold uh, because if, if a weapon is used against him, basically to kill him, you spend two bullets and you kill the attacker. I, I like that ability, so you you turn that over like that, and you put that in front of you, so nobody else can see it, but you know who you are. And then you take the rest of your cards and you put them down. Now. 
you can look at this card at any time if you forget which one it is, but through a process of elimination, you should be able to figure it out anyway. You also, um, if your badasses get killed, you just flip them over and you put them in front of you. The badasses that have been killed of your uh, team, you, you, they, they, uh, you, other players can look through that. They're all face up and they can look through that at any time. So, that, you know, once again, they can, through a theory of deduction, they can figure out what's in front of you. All right. So, after you've picked your, uh, your starting BA, or badass, if you will, uh, you're going to take, everybody gets one weapon. You turn the weapon over, and so I got the machine gun, and it has the, the blast over here. I can target more than one badass. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our little bullet marker right there, and we're going to go ahead and uh, start the game. Now, I mean, I'm not setting up everybody else, but you just pick one person to go, and you're going to begin. So on your turn, you have several different options available. Uh, you can change your badass, meaning you pick up the card that's in front of you, you put it back into your deck, you, you know, and I would I would strongly suggest after you pick the one, shuffle up your deck bed, because there's nothing stopping you from putting the exact same card back down. This is a game that has a bluffing element to it, so just keep that in mind. Um, you can change your weapon. Uh, basically what you do is you discard the weapon you have. If it has any bullets, you lose them, and then you just take a weapon that's available. If, like, you know, I decided, you know what, I really want this bazooka, I can take that. I can replace it with this. We put that in the discard. If, it's, if the weapon deck ever runs out, you free shuffle them, and then you turn another card over, and now we have an automatic gun right there. But, you know, so you just swap them out. Just, it, that's as simple as well. That's your action, though. Uh, oh, and also I should mention, before the, you always gain one bullet at the beginning. So, since um, I swapped out, I would have had one bullet in my machine gun at the beginning of my turn, but since I swapped out, I'd go back down to zero. Uh, then, uh, or you could gain more bullets and that's you're going to roll those two dice over there I'll, I'll explain that in just a second um you can use your loaded weapon and then you discard it now some weapons you don't get rid of if you discard uh like the sniper rifle and i'll, I'll show you some of the, the different weapons a little bit but normally what happens is you you use the weapon you kill somebody you pick somebody you kill them and then you're done uh, and then, announce the name of a badass. If unchallenged, you get to apply their power. Now, you can you can bluff, and you can pretend that you're somebody else. You don't have to be the person that you place down. But, here's the deal. So, if you've played games where you bluff, and then and people guess what you are, you have a situation where the other person will say, oh, you know, like, let's say I, like, I, I, I wanted to, like, gain more bullets. I'd say, well, I'm Sylvester, and I'm going to use his ability, and I'm going to gain two bullets. Now, at that moment, anybody could say, you know, I think you're bluffing. I don't think you really are Sylvester. And at that moment, what happens is, is that I have to reveal uh, the, the, the character that I have. If I'm lying, I lose that character. They are, in effect, killed. But... The person guessing, you know, like, okay, so, like, they turn it over and they guess. It's like, nope, I had Arnold, you're right. And they, but if they're wrong, they lose their badass instead. Eliminations in this way, you still get the victory points uh, uh, for these eliminations, too. So it's a way you can get points when it isn't your turn by calling out somebody's bluff. I should mention that if somebody calls your bluff and you told the truth... Um, the, the, the badass uh, that they lose is randomly picked from their hand. They don't lose the one that's on, on in, in front of them like so. It's randomly picked from their hand and placed uh, face up. And then you get to perform the power of uh, the, your active badass. And you can change it, you know, for free. You can change, you, you get to, you, you perform the power. So if I had done Arnold's ability or like Sylvester's ability and I had Sylvester. So let, let's say, here, hold on. Let me get Sylvester back out. So, uh... If I had had, like, Sylvester, like this, and I said, I'm going to use Sylvester's ability and gain more bullets, and somebody said, you don't have Sylvester, and I said, ah, I do, not only do I get to use my ability, not only does my opponent lose a badass, but I then get to return him to my hand, and I can change it to anything I want. So let's say I wanted to bring Bruce out now, because maybe I have enough bullets, and I'm going to go ahead, I get to swap him out for free, which is pretty awesome, and obviously it's just like added to the already victory you got for, for taking out the other person. 
If I lied, though, um, I might, you know, as I said, I lose. Like if I said I'm using uh, Sylvester's power and it was Bruce, they go to my graveyard and I don't get to do anything. So it is kind of a challenge if you are going to bluff. Um, it's it's necessary to win, honestly, but you got to pick and choose your spots to do it. All right, so how do how does getting the bullets through the dice work? So the dice have a green side, they have a yellow side, and they have a red side. So when you roll the dice, let's just see what I get here. So I got two greens. That's like the best possible. For every green you have, you get a bullet. But if you have a yellow, um, for each yellow bullet, all players collect a bullet. And you might be saying, well, why would it, you know, rolling dice, that sounds, that stinks. You know, it's like, what what's going on there? But I'll explain why that can actually be helpful in a lot of ways if you can give other people bullets. Not always helpful, but it could uh, very, very well be helpful. Now, if you roll a red die, um, all opponents advance their bullet marker one for each red bullet. Um, and, but the, the whole, the unfortunate thing with red, though, is that if you roll double red, uh, your weapon jams, or basically your weapon breaks. So you lose all the ammunition that you have, and you got to go ahead and discard, uh, like, all the ammunition uh, and move it down to zero. Again, I like the colors a great deal here, and I like just the way they present it really well, because obviously green, good, you know, we always associate green with go and everything like that. You get bullets, nobody else does. Yellow, uh, okay, you know, like, we all get bullets. Red, bad, everybody else gets bullets but you, you know, that. so it's it's definitely, um, like, once again, color-coding uh, the results. You don't even really have to, like, see the bullet or anything, or even remember the rules. It's just easy to, to recollect those situations. All right, so as I said, you're going to get people killed off. As you get them killed off, you will be placing them face up one by one as they get slaughtered and so on. If Once you lose all of them, as I said, you enter revenge mode. The big thing is, is that once you get to go ahead and take the character out of reserve, so you have them available, and you can once you're in revenge mode, you can lose all your characters again. You probably won't. Somebody's probably going to win the game by then, but you can lose all your characters again. But the big thing is is that and you get to keep playing, and you just flip this over to the to the other side and so to show that uh, you're getting two bullets a turn in the beginning, and also you're in revenge mode. So you unlock all the special powers. I mean, so like here's Linda. Um, like steal two bullets from an opponent and steal two bullets from another opponent, which is obviously a pretty cool ability to have. Um, I wanted to show you some of those other uh, weapons. Like I said, so let me just grab a stack here. Um, here is the reason why gaining bullets or giving other people bullets can be a good thing. So here's the grenade. So you can see on, on the end of the grenade level, there's right there, it says danger. If a weapon reaches level, it, you discard it because the grenade exploded in your hands, basically, and you discard and lose the badass. So you can actually kill somebody if they are in a situation where, you know, they, they are close to it. Um, here's a flamethrower. Uh, you know, it's like it has an ability to put people on fire. I throw the dice for each uh, yellow uh, bullet, kill a badass next to your target, and once again, you know, this is one of those things where they can explode uh, if you're not too careful. So, and then I wanted to show you the sniper rifle. As you can see, it is precise. Uh, if you guess your target's identity, keep the, that weapon uh, with four bullets. So you, you use it to uh, target somebody and you can say, I think you're using this particular uh, badass and it, you can then you know keep that weapon and you still have four bullets. So it's kind of a cool little ability added to that. Like I said uh, in my introduction, you know, like this kind of combines uh, the game of uh, Bang, which I like, with the game of Coup, which I like. And it has enough uh, uh, differences from that, and enough, like, a little bit of the, like, randomness from the dice, obviously, I really like. Um, the fact that you're never really knocked out, I really like. And the fact that, like, the game always seems to come down to, like, the last play. Like, and there's always everybody, everybody here has, like, is close to the end, and everybody's, like, you know, 14, 15, 16 points, right? But as soon as somebody gets to 16, um, you, like, you, you declare the winner, uh, or by, obviously, if you got higher than that, they also have a winner. If two people happen to have the same score, uh, the winner is the one with the most bullets in their weapon. Uh, if there's still a tie, uh, then just play another game. <laughs> That's what they say. Or you can play rock, paper, scissors, or whatever. Or just, you know what? Mutually declare that you're both really badass. Hey, the game's fun, but let me talk more about it in my final thoughts. Jeez, okay. Uh, there we go. That is uh, the the force of the badass. All right. Uh... Cool. Well, I already kind of told you what I liked about it. I mean, I just, I, I can remember 
Um, sitting down to play Coup for like the very first time at Con of the North, man, whatever, whatever it came out, I still have my like original uh, like weird box, the small box that, that the, the, the designer was selling on his website. And I remember um, I picked it up. It was like sold through some weird store or something like that. But I remember I, I played it. I loved it. I loved the, the tension of it. I loved trying to figure out what other people were playing, and, and I got it. Now, prior to that, I played the game Bang. Bang, um, I have, or I, at least I used to, uh, and I'm going to try to have it more often or go back to having it. I, I used to have a, a yearly gathering uh, of, of my friends, and I got people to come in, and, and we, would, um, we, we would play games for like a weekend. It was, it was a lot of fun. And uh, Bang was something that we always played. It was usually like one of the very first games we played. Um, it, we, we would sit down and like one of the first things we would do is we would try to knock out Jason, my buddy Jason, like in the, in the, before he could have a turn. That was our goal usually, <laughs> which was, you know, not kind of mean-spirited. But regardless, it was a game that we all looked forward to playing and, and we played it. And it was just something that I enjoyed. Now, this is the game where obviously you are, you know, like combining, you know, that that who am I special power thing that you have going on, um, combined with, you know, just I need to get this gun, I need to, you know, get bullets in it, and I need to shoot that person. Now, I, I don't know why they went with uh, uh, this theme. I mean, they, they could have done anything. I mean, they could have been different Martian races. I mean, or they could have just been, like, uh, spies or just not a theme at all, right? I mean, the game would have just worked. But I do like it. I, I like it for a couple of reasons. One, uh, it's something that everybody's going to know. I mean, most people know who, like, Chuck Norris is. Most people know who Sylvester Sloan is. Arnold, you know, that whole thing. And because of the fact that everybody knows it, everybody's all kind of on the same common ground uh, when it comes to, uh, like, their pop culture references, uh, referencing different movies and stuff like that. So you kind of have a situation where you go beyond the game where, you're, like, you're talking about these, these, these people and the movies they're in and, like, their personal lives and things like that. So you just have, like, an, uh, like a ready-made reason to have these discussions as a group and which you know obviously like the whole point of playing a game is to have fun but also i play a game to be with my friends and and to meet new people and to have these fun conversations and these laughs and and these jokes and what have you um i like the fact that you don't get knocked out of the game like bang like we i said before like we would try to like knock my buddy jason out of the game i mean that was obviously not very fun for him but <laughs> fun for everybody else but but i mean like getting knocked out of the game is never fun right and you know it's like oh i can't play anymore i gotta watch you play you know so being able to like you know stick in it and stay in the game and and uh being able to you know get to you know the the like the, the end of the game like i said the, the scores usually end up being really really close and and there definitely is like one of those things too where people are like like i said like you there's table talk going on like if somebody's loading up a bazooka wow you know bam 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 it's like holy crud we gotta stop that person from doing that we gotta figure out a way to to, to prevent that from happening or you gotta do something where it's like you you kind of make yourself look like not a target so when the person decides they're gonna blow up you know, somebody just just don't get me or just get them kind of thing. And that also is like the fun aspects of the game as far as, you know, it's like 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 having like you can say, I am Arnold. You know, if, yeah, go ahead, shoot me. Shoot me. I can't wait to, to, to kill you because I, I can kill you if you if you target me kind of thing. You know, stuff like that. You have the game beyond the game, you have the conversations at the table, whatever. Now the other thing I really liked about the fact that you're using these actual movie stars and these these these, these action uh, stars is the fact that like you have fairly limitless uh, uh, potential to add more people. I mean, like, I was just thinking, oh, well, where's my Jackie Chan card or, or my Jet Li card? Uh, where's my uh, Jason Statham card? Uh, you know, um, like, you, so you can definitely start just thinking about, like, other uh, action heroes, other people. Like, where's my uh, Wesley Snipes card? Uh, where's, uh, you know, like, I'm, I'm sure you're just thinking of some yourself, you know, like, right now, and you're, and you're, in, you're kind of bebopping, you're like, Carl Weathers, where's my car, where's my Jesse the Body Ventura card, I want that added to the game, you know, just like, you know, but, you know, just a big giant minigun, as far as that goes, you can have tons of weapons, too, like, you can have a minigun going crazy, 
you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, I look forward to um, watching this game develop, and I look forward to more and more stuff being put into it. And because, you know, this is that type of game that it's like, you know, everybody's like sitting around, it's like, we should play a game, and you're like, I don't know what game we should play, we got a ton of people here, what are we going to do? And you're like, I got a game, I can teach it to you in five minutes, you'll have fun, let's do this. And everybody's like, oh, okay, let's go. And sure enough, the game's fun, you have a blast, and yeah, you, you then can, like, the other person finally shows up that you were waiting for, now you can play your other game you got going on. Or maybe you just, you know, you had enough fun that you just reload it and you play again. So, there you go. Uh, badass Force. If you have any questions about it, ask away. I'll be happy to answer those as best as I can. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, I've been doing this, you know, for over a decade. And every single time I see that people actually tune in and watch what I have to say, it means a lot. I, I met a lot of people at BGGCon this last weekend. And I had tons of people come up and just say, tell me thank you uh, for, for my videos and stuff. And you know what, that, that when people say that stuff, it, like, it makes... The, the work that I've done on this and, and I've continued to do, and I'm not, I uh, don't take that as like, oh, I work so hard, you know, just don't take it like that. But I mean, the thing is, is that uh, I've been doing videos for so long, it's just kind of part of my life now. And, um, you know, and I, I do it for fun, and I've said that a million times, uh, but, you know, when you get somebody that takes the time to say to you, you know, I really like your work, you know, that that kind of justifies, like, all the time I, I, I spent, like, you know, doing these things. And, and, and it makes it, in a lot of ways, really, really worth it. So, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching this. Um, as always, be the best version of you you can possibly be. You can't just coast through life. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta like, be mentally make the choice to be a good person. Be kind to the people. Be kind to the people you love. Be kind to the strangers you run into. Instead of like shaking your fist at the jerk that cut me off at the parking lot today, even I was like, oh, you know, it's like I took a moment and said, they're obviously in a hurry. It's it's no big deal. You know, it's like they're just another person trying to get their way through life. I, I hope they get to wherever they're going safe, and I hope they have a marvelous day. And you just, you got to have that mindset, and, it, and it's tough to do, but, um, I guarantee you, uh, the more love that you throw out into the world, um, the more love uh, you're going to get to come back. And, and, and people are going to notice it. People are going to notice that you're the kind of person that they want to hang out with. And they're going to be kind to you. And they're going to and then they're going to say, I can be kind to somebody. And I can be kind to somebody. And that's how we're going to change the world. One person. One person making another person feel like they're special and they're awesome. And then that person loving that feeling. And then turning around and help telling somebody else that they're awesome and they're wonderful. And then that person doing the same thing over and over again. So, uh, call your mother. <laughs> call your grandparents. Hug your kids. Be awesome. Until next time, this is Undead Viking telling you, yeah, you're awesome.